Hello, it has been a long time since I made a video. It must be probably about a year. And what a year it's been. What a year it's been. It's, I can't believe that this whole year of all our lives just like disappeared like that. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we're on the up. I mean, you can't tell, can you? You can never be 100% sure, but fingers crossed. I've been vaccinated twice, a couple of weeks gone by. I am as vaccinated up to the hilt as I can be. So I think it's about time to start saying hello to the world again. It's been a strange year in that way, actually, because I don't know about you, but I, well, you can tell by the uh, the demeanour here that I'm no spring chicken, and I'm diabetic. And an awful lot of diabetic people have passed away, sadly, during this past year. And so I've been very cautious, um, like many people have. And it's, it's had an effect. It's had an effect on, I don't know, I don't like that term mental health very much, but... It's, it's affected the way I've sort of been facing the world. And one of the things that's happened during that time is I have stopped painting. Now, in the run-up to, um, to, to lockdown, I was painting all the time. I was painting a lot, and I was really on a roll. And when lockdown first started, I was determined to keep going. But after two, three months of being here all the time and not really going out hardly and all the rest of it, it somehow faded and I got back into music. And now that I don't know whether this makes <coughs> any sense to any of you out there, but I found that I'm, I can only do one thing at a time in, in, in a creative way. I'm a sort of, I can't really work in parallel. I can't multitask. I, I'm a serialist, so to speak. If I start doing something, all my creative energy tends to go that way and it fades off from other directions, you know? So this last few months, I've been doing music, 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 all on my own. I mean, it would be lovely to get out and play with some people again. Um, and hopefully... Hopefully this year, yeah, I'll, I'll be able to do that. But um, just me alone in the studio, recording and playing and writing songs and all that sort of thing. And that's the way the last few months have been. But it's time to get out into the world again. And so it's time to start painting again. It's time to start getting out there plan air painting, getting out amongst people so that people can talk to me, people can, can see my work, see what's going on and, and all the rest of it. So this video is me saying, hi world, here I am, I'm back. And I thought, well, how, how should, what shall I do? I mean, it's all right just doing a little video and saying this, but how, how shall I sort of introduce the world of painting back into my life and my painting back into your lives. Well, I thought it was about time that I gave you a tour of my studio. I know people like that. I like that. I like to see people's studios. It won't take very long because it's the smallest studio I've ever had. Over the past, oh my goodness, years that I've been painting, I've had lots of different studios. Everything from, I had an old school a um, small school, you know, a village school with um, school rooms, big school rooms and all that sort of thing. And I had that all to myself for a while, which was fantastic. I had a derelict building in Buxton. I had about six or seven rooms in this pretty derelict building. It was, it was marked for demolition years and just hadn't happened. Um, no running water, running water outside at a, a tap in the outside so every time I wanted to change my water I had to go outside but it was great you know it, you make do don't you I've had studios in 
attics, I've had studios all over the place. And but this one is the smallest studio I've ever had. But it's just going, just to show that really and truly you adapt. I mean, that's the thing, I don't paint huge canvases. I've tried it years ago, but it's not really me. I paint smaller, so maybe I don't need that much room. So anyway, I'll show you. I'm gonna turn, oh, I put my hand in front of the lens. Rookie mistake there. Whoops, never mind, this is just informal. We, we're face to face, we don't, we don't have to if I make a mistake occasionally, does it? Look, here we go. I'm gonna do this thing, flip the camera around, and I'll take you on a tour of my studio. Here we go. Here it is. Maybe I need to go a little bit further back here. Let's go down the garden a little bit. Here's the garden. What a beautiful day it is. Anyway, there it is. You can see it. It's a small outbuilding that uh, has been built in the garden. I don't. I think it was built by somebody as an office, maybe. It's quite nice. It's got a heater in there and everything. It, you know, turn the heater on and in five minutes, it's as warm as toast in the winter. It stays really warm. So that's nice. But anyway, here it is. It's really quite, quite small. There we go. Let's go in. Let's go in. Here we go. Excuse the flickering lights. We're going to get a little bit of this. We've got uh, a, new, a tube up there for us and tube. Here it is. Can I pull back a little bit? Yes, I can. Let's go into wide angle mode, eh? Here we are. This is it. Let's start as we come in. There's a picture of me there, that, a painting that I did of me in the Isle of Wight. We stayed in a lovely uh, house a few years back called Miss Musters, and there was a sort of jetty that went out into the sea, and that's actually me standing on that jetty and I painted the picture of it. It just takes me back to a lovely time. Picture of my daughter when she was very, very young, about four years old that I did. There's a lot of what's on the walls in here, paintings that I've just done and I quite like them. They're not ones that I've necessarily done to style. There's one here of, uh, this is the Barony in Nantwich. I did that one day just sitting outside to plan air painting. This one on the other hand, this is Nantwich as well. This is uh, Cafe Nero in Nantwich. I do like doing cafe painting, as, as some of you might have seen, if you've seen on my website. Uh, so what I've got, I've got a, a cupboard here just inside, a nice long bathroom cupboard that doesn't take up much space. A little space by the side here to put the big easel that I don't really need anymore because the room is so small. Portable easels down there, portable tripods and all that sort of thing. What's in the cupboard? All sorts of stuff. Everybody needs one of those, don't they? A cupboard that you just shove things in. Brushes, brushes and more brushes. And over here, more brushes. And over here, more brushes. It's one of those things, isn't it? You just collect them as the years go by. And I think I've had some of these brushes. Must be nearly 30 years. This is really useful. In this small space, this is this is absolutely smashing. This is a baby change unit. No, go ahead. well, <laughs> our, our, our youngest baby is now eighteen, so I don't think I'll be using this anymore. Um, lots of drawer space. Yeah, lots of drawer space. One of the great things is. Move those out of the way. This, because this means as the top comes over, I've got myself, you see there with the, the high stool there, that is a smashing table for sitting and painting watercolours. So if I'm going to do a watercolour, I'll pop that down and uh, paint on there. Great thing is, of course, then that I can put it back up there, it gives me more space for the oil paintings, which I do in a different way. What I've done is I've covered the end wall of this small room with a piece of chipboard. 
Uh, I've got an extra computer monitor up here that I got a free cycle. Somebody gave it to, gave it to me, which is a nice of them. And uh, what I do when I'm painting is I just fix the board that I'm using, or the canvas, or whatever, to the piece of chipboard with screws using the trusty uh, <coughs> power screwdriver there, it only takes seconds and you can make as many, put as many screw holes in it as you want, it's only a piece of chipboard um, but it's great, it means it's firm, it doesn't move it ain't going anywhere, it's on the end wall I can move back as far as I want to, I'm out in the garden now and I can really get a bit of distance between me and the canvas, which is really good. When you're painting inside a room, it's very quite often, quite often very difficult to pull back far enough. But this is great, and pull back and get a different angle on it. It's very important to step back from the canvas now and again to really see what you're doing. On the wall here, a little fuse box. Uh, and underneath the fuse box, I paint a little rack to hang my palette knives. Uh, I don't know whether any of you saw the paintings that I was doing before lockdown, but uh, a lot of the paintings that I was doing then were knife painted, and that's the way I'm going to be going back into it when I go back into it uh, in the next few days. On the stand here, I've got, uh, um, you know, a, a book and thing, that sort of thing, a pile of palettes. Interestingly, I hardly ever use them anymore. And I, I, I don't, I don't miss them at all, because of the way I'm painting here with this board, uh, as the main backing board. I use this; it's a buttress block. I use this old buttress block. I stick a piece of greaseproof paper onto the top of the buttress block. That becomes my palette, um, and it's great because when I've finished with it, I just. Scrape the uh, scrape the bit of the paint off, pull off the um, what's it called? Pull, uh, pull off the tape, screw it up, throw it in the bin. It's so much easier than burning off the old paint off the palettes, which I did for years and years and years. I used to hate doing it. Um, so that's where I do the oil paintings. Got uh, little little places. You know, when you've got not much space you find all these nooks and crannies to put things in. And I've got a canvas there, but underneath there I've got my my um, easel that I take out when I go out plein air painting. Uh, and down the other side, tucked in there, I don't know whether you can see it, I've got a little trolley uh, with a couple of small wheels on it that I can put the easel onto to go, um, if I'm walking any distance, it's much easier than carrying the damn thing. They get quite heavy. Everything under there, you can see there's the computer tucked in under there. I just think it's amazing what you can do with, with a small space. And this wall I keep tend to keep fairly clear. Uh, I painted it white, it gives a, a bit more light into the room. I don't try not to cover it up too much, but I do put, you know, paintings that uh, aren't necessarily finished. I mean, that one's finished, that one I did a few years ago. Um, but that one there, never quite sure whether I finished it. Um, it's sort of sitting there and maybe uh, if I get bored one day I'll take it down and maybe do something else to it, I'm not sure. This one, I've been working on this painting. I don't know, I, I, we all got one of these. I've been working on this painting for years. On and off, on and off, I'll keep putting it on the easel, doing a little bit more, putting it on the easel, doing a bit more. This is um, an ice cream shop. It's on the Rue des Abbes in Paris, in Montmartre. And, uh, well, it's nearly, our, it's nearly our, what, seventh wedding anniversary. So seven years ago, we went on honeymoon to Paris and in the evenings we would go and sit in this coffee shop, uh, an ice cream shop, and have an ice cream. And it's sentimental. And I took a photograph of it while we were in there. And I, I like painting people. I like painting people doing things, people sort of involved in life. 
that's the thing that I really love painting more than anything. So this is going to be going to be finished in this next couple of months, I think, and uh, framed. I'm going to put it on the wall in the living room. It's uh, not for sale. This one. This is it's sentimental. Got to have a bit of sentiment, haven't you? Got a bin down there. Everybody needs a bin. That wonderful heater heats this room up within a couple of minutes. And uh, everybody needs a um, an apron, don't they? And that's it. Not much in here, I don't suppose, but an awful lot, I suppose, actually, in many other cases, another way. Uh, I just thought you might like to see it. You know, it's no great shakes, but it's fairly tidy. It has to be tidy, otherwise it becomes totally unworkable. I don't know whether you've ever seen those photographs of Francis Bacon's studio. If you haven't, go on, go on to Google and type in Francis Bacon's studio and have a look how that man painted anything in that room. I have no idea. I don't think he ever threw a tube of paint away and he just left them all piled up for years and years and years. Well, I don't know. <laughs> Some people, eh? Anyway, that's that's that. Let's uh, let's turn the video around again. So, that's it. it it's, it's small, but it's cosy and it works. It's all you need, really, isn't it? Anyway, that's uh, that's all I wanted to say. Really, I just wanted to say hello again. It's been a long, long year, and I wanted to say hello. I'm back. I'll say back, I've been nowhere, but I'm back. I'm coming back into the world, wait and uh, see what happens and all that sort of thing. Look out world, here I am and all that. Um, and over this next few days, I'm going to start painting again and I shall be starting to make some videos again. Uh, if you'd like to follow me on YouTube while I do it, I'd be uh, lovely to have some more sus subscribers. Yeah. I've... Uh, I've not really done much in the way of videos for the past year, so that'll be uh, something I'll be getting back into again. And, uh, yeah, I hope, I hope you've all survived. And I hope your loved ones have survived. If you've had a hard time, you have my greatest sympathy, believe me. It's been a, a horrible, horrible time. I just hope that uh, it won't be long before we're turning to one another and saying, do you remember that? The pandemic. Do you remember that COVID time when we all had to stay in for a year? And you know, hopefully, it'll be a distant memory, um, uh, probably one that we'd all like to forget. Anyway, the sun's shining. It's a beautiful day here in uh, sunny Cheshire, and um, so I'm gonna go make some tea. And uh, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.